Welcome to a brief introduction in analysing a simple beam in multi-frame. Let's start out by sketching the member that forms our beam. I'm going to make this one 10 metres long. I can select the drawn member and then I can choose the section properties. We have here the US sections library. We also have sections libraries for other countries. So I'm just going to choose a UB from the library and assign that to the beam. I'm going to select the node at the left hand end and make that a pinned restraint and the node at the right hand end and put that on a roller. That sets up our physical beam. Let's just check that in 3D. That looks OK. And switch over to the load window and now we'll select the member and apply some loads to it. I've already added a couple of load cases here. So my first load case, I'm going to add a distributed load. I choose the load shape, the load magnitude, the load direction and apply that to the beam. My second load case, I'm going to select my member and this time apply a point load to it. Again, direction, magnitude and left distance. I'm going to put this at L over 2 uh, rather than a fixed distance. And finally, my combined load case I've defined as a combination of the two of uh, the distributed load and the point load. I can analyse that using a linear analysis and then I can go to the plot window and I can review the results of my analysis. I can see my moments, my shear forces and my deflected shape. I can also switch between the different load cases to see the relative magnitudes of the moments between different cases. If I double click on a member I can see all that data simultaneously and I can drag my cursor along the member and see the results of analysis at any point. That completes our brief introduction to a simple beam analysis in multi-frame.